Welcome to Milo and the Magpies. Uh, this game was recommended by viewer uh, La Coalition. I know nothing about it. Uh, he says that it's a very relaxing game, so people should get out their cup of tea uh, and, and sort of snuggle into a uh, into a recliner or something like that to watch this game. I'm assuming that he recommended it entirely because it has the name Milo in it, and that is my son's name. Uh, but <laughs> we, will, we will see what kind of game this is. Oh, just three roofs to cross, and then I am home. Wait, is Milo the cat? Am I a cat? Ah! Why are these birds always blocking my way? Ah! Quit messing with me! Go away! I have to get rid of them! Chapter 1. The First Step Home. So is this basically... Stray? But... Oh yeah. Wait, is this a... A vacuum robot? Now I have to find my way through the gardens. Click on Milo. Okay, yeah, so this is Milo. This is basically 2D Stray, isn't it? So yeah, the Coalition says it's Stray, but indie and wholesome. A game of hide and seek. Okay, so what happens if I click on a bird? It squawks. What happens if I click on Milo? Um, I can still I can still see you, Milo. <laughs> There's a bird. Some objects can be activated by clicking on them. Okay, so like the robot. Smaller objects can be dragged and put elsewhere. What is what is this? Put the stone on the fountain. Okay. Oh, I have stopped the fountain. What what did that do? I have found a secret frog! I got a secret frog! <laughs> okay, so we've got the bird is now is now perched on the rock for some reason. That means I can sneak around. And what? What's my goal? Oh, pounce! Yes! Take that, bird! That's it. You get what you deserve. Micro Retro says, I still need to play Stray. Yeah, you do. It's really cool. I really like that game. Uh, my daughter's gotten into it now, too. Meow. Aw. Hugs. Oh, just... <laughs> And now she's picking up all the st stray bird feathers. The artist. So I'm going to be going through a bunch of people's backyards trying to harass birds. <laughs> and then they'll they'll clear me out of their yards. Okay, so what do we have here? We got a fish. We've got... Oh, hey, I've seen this guy. We got a hedgehog. Hog in the hedge over here. Oh, he's hiding in the hedge. We've got little dragony flies. We've got this whole deal. Oh, it's a two of hearts. Is that the only thing I get by clicking? Okay, so I don't know why I care about that two of hearts. Um, and we've got a frog and some stuff. Okay, it says... It's got a little right arrow here. What does that mean? And we've got a bike lock. Which I... And we've got a bird. It's tweeting at me. It's taunting me. Okay, we've got a handle that just came off a door. And we've got a... We've got a does the jacket do anything? No. Okay, let's click on Milo. Let's get him down here. Okay, cat is in play. Hedgehog! So you just keep clicking on yourself, mostly, to make things happen until you run out of self to click, I guess. So I'm trying to sneak up on this... bird. A fence! Ah, but the bird is always blocking my way. And now I'm, like, freaked out over here. 
All right. So, can I? I don't. I don't know. Can I do anything? Clicking on the two just gives me a picture of the two. Oh wait, what's this? <gasps> Ooh, I broke a pane. Let's get in there. Come on, Milo. Oh, and the jacket has fallen. <gasps> There's a key. There's a key in the jacket. Is it for this? Oh no, oh no, the bird! Oh, the stupid bird! Why do you ruin everything, bird? Oh, hey, we've got the guy's attention. Hello! Oh. Okay, so... The bird flew away? What? Oh, we got an apple. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, the apple's got a three on it. This has a two on it. Is this going to be the bike lock code? What else can I click on? Does this have a number on it? No, it's got something plugged into its butt, though. So it's probably going to spray water at some point. All right. Well, Milo... Wait, can I... Am I able to get out? Is Milo just stuck in here now? When I click on what feels like the window, it actually is just clicking on this scene. And I can't click on the fish. Oh, there's this scene. It's got this arrow. I'm not... Could the arrow just mean this is the... Oh, this is the direction in which I read the... Okay, okay. This is the code to... Right. This is the code to the bicycle. Three is the last number. Two is the second number. There's some kind of frog number and some kind of brush number. The brush is number eight. But I don't see anything on the frog. Is this the frog he means? Is there a different frog? Could it be, oh, could it be the number of spires on the crown? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that would make this eight, two, six, three. Eight, two, six, three. Yes! Okay, so this is an interesting kind of adventure puzzle game because ostensibly I am the cat trying to get somewhere. But most of the actions I'm performing are not performed by the cat. It's like I am... I am a ghost <laughs> that is poking things and making things happen to arrange reality such that the cat can get home, but I am not the cat? Because the cat did not do any of the things that I did? I don't know. So, all right. Oh, no! Sir! Your bicycle! Oh, that reveals this. Which means we're now spritzing the fish. Which uncovers the key. Which unlocks the door. So that Milo can emerge. Hello, Milo! Um, so, okay, so I actually knocked this handle down early. Like, I think the expectation was I would get Milo all the way inside and then try to open the door for him. The latch would fall off. Then I'd find the key, insert the key, etc. Okay, so, artist, I, I might need some help. How do I get, I can't click on Milo. How does Milo get over this fence? Yeah, I can't do that. The hedgehog is gone. My hedgehog friend can't help me. The dragonfly is just are freaking useless. Freaking useless dragonflies. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. So, Coderson points out that the shed... I hadn't even noticed that there was stuff inside the door at the shed. So, now Milo can go through the hole and into Chapter 3. 
Child's Play. Hello, children. I'm going to get in a box because I'm a cat. A cat can never resist a box. Okay. Am I stuck in the box now? <laughs> I'm stuck in the box. Okay, so he's flying his little helicopter, which moves the bird. He's jumping on his trampoline. There's a ball. Get the ball out of the... Get out! Get out! Get out, ball! She's sweeping. Um, she can go down the slide. So, I got Milo a remote control drone for his birthday this year. And he actually managed... He loved it. But he actually managed to lose it somehow. His goal, he was standing upstairs in our living room and he flew it down the stairs into the basement, was what he said. I didn't witness this. He said he tried to fly it downstairs into the basement and he thought that he had lost it several rooms deep in the basement. And I was like, if you were upstairs, most of that happened in your imagination because the drone did not have a camera on it. Um, and so I, I searched the place he told me to search first in the room he said it was in. I didn't believe that it was in that room, though. I think it's probably somewhere between that room and where he started. But we have literally not been able to find this drone. Um, and so this child um, hitting himself with his own helicopter feels absolutely appropriate to me. All right. See you later, Micro Retro. Thanks for ha hanging out with us. So Lakota says, maybe you are God helping a cat reach its home. Because that's clearly the top priority at the moment. Yes. <laughs> this is This is what... This is what God is for, is for helping cats get home. Okay, so I've clicked on everything. Oh, wait, we got a branch here. And the bird doesn't want to help. Can I do anything with the helicopter while it's in the air? No. Okay, so this girl is on a cycle. This guy. Oh, I can get her to do bigger jumps. How big can I get him to go? Oh my gosh. Okay. So he freaked out the bird. Okay, so let's freak out the bird again. Okay, so I can just move the bird back and forth between these two spots. Oh, oh, what's that? What did I just get? <gasps> I found a secret! Oh, I think I didn't get a secret in the last area. Okay, so I can move the bird back and forth between these two spots. Um... Is there a way for that to result in ball get? I want to get the ball. Oh, 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 nice. Okay, so if I just do that enough, she pokes the ball out. All right. Oh, and now he blows the ball down with the helicopter. Will she go play with the ball now? No. I wonder if his jumping will, oh, he's gonna jump off and get the ball. Oh, thank you! <laughs> uh, Alright, so... Now what? <coughs> Is this her turn now to be useful? Nope. Oh, wait, what? Okay. He seems to be doing the same thing each time. Um, what is left for me to do? I can't interact with Helicopter Boy anymore. Oh, I thought maybe I could hit the girl with the ball. <laughs> that would be funny if I could hit the girl with the ball, but no, I can't. Or if I can, I haven't figured out the right way to do it. I can't click on this. Okay, so it seems like I can only make her cycle on the on the slide or get him to kick the ball. So that's why I was thinking that, like... <coughs> um, sorry, uh, I, I lost my train of thought. I, I keep getting notifications from Slack, uh, and so I keep sort of reading little messages from other people, and that's sort of breaking my concentration. Sorry about that. 
So there might be there might be something else that I can interact with that I haven't noticed yet. That's a possibility. It could be that my theory that like lining up these two actions in the perfect way is the solution and I just haven't done it right yet. Okay, so the coalition says that actually that yes, my instinct that trying to get these two to line up is right. It's not hitting the girl, but he says it's not hitting the girl with the ball, it's hitting the ball with the girl. So while the ball is in its like slow phase there, okay, we kick the ball away. So now he runs for the ball and she thinks that's hilarious. And now what? Now there's a bird. Oh, so we needed him to move so the bird would come down. I was trying to figure out, like, why that was important. But, and that is the problem with games like this. A lot of times, like, what you're doing, it's like, it's hard to tell what, what purpose it has. Okay, so he can't do anything with this now. She's non-interactive. Frisbee still does nothing. Bird just squawks. Cat just gets into pouncy position. Oh, what? Wait, what, what's this? Batteries. Oh, okay. At first, I thought they were shotgun shells. I was like, "What? This game is taking a dark turn." Okay, scare the bird away. Yeah. All right, now Milo can go. And boing! <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think a cat's heavy enough to make that happen. I think you need a special trampoline to propel a cat. <laughs> so like Coalition said, he also thought those batteries were shotgun shells at first. I'm like, I mean, that's one way to solve your bird problem, right? Okay, so now we've got... By the way, how many of these chapters are there, La Coalition? Um, we got a gnome. we got multiple birds. The gnome walks? What? And reveals a worm. A worm for a bird. Not that bird. This bird? Ah, yes. Wait, it's scared of worms? What? We've got a... Um, a seed... Oh, am I just trying to fill the bird feeder with seeds? I'm just attracting a million birds. Okay, this feels counterproductive. If my goal is to get rid of birds, I'm bringing a lot of extra birds into this world. So we got this bird watcher guy. Oh, okay. He wants to see all of these birds. Got it. So... It says this one wants snails, this one wants whatever this is. So some of these are giving hints about how to get them. And some of them either are giving no hints or subtle hints. Oh, of course, if I want a crow, I need to open a trash bin, right? I assume that'll be a crow. Oh, no. Oh, it'll be that guy. What's this? Oh, we need water for the... For the little bird bath. All right. So we're waiting for another bird to show up. This, like this, just feels so against <laughs> against everything this cat stands for. Okay, so she, okay, so she will not let me come over here because. She's scared that I will scare away all the birds. So he has to see all of the birds on his list before she will let me go over there, I think is the deal. Oh, oh, and there is... We've Oh, we've attract a attra attracted a hawk? Is that what this is? And that's what we needed to do in order to clear our way is attract a hawk? Okay, so Coalition says that Milo is against magpies specifically and not the others. So he's okay with the other birds. It's just magpies that he hates. All right, so does this mean that I can come over here now? 
Oh, yeah, so they're all looking at this fancy hawk up here. So I can sneak across. No one's looking at the cat. Oh, 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 she saw me. Time to burrow into the hedge. This hedge is too thick. I will try more further in the garden. Chapter 5. A Fishing Trip. Okay, I think this is the last chapter I'm going to do because I'm nervous about, like, playing the entire game on the stream and then there's no reason for anybody to ever check the game out themselves. So, let's let this be our last chapter. But it looks like we've got a very organized row of ducks here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what these ducks are doing. We've got a doggy. We've got boats. We've got a bunch of... Is this going to be like... Is this different food for ducks? Like, is this a very similar sort of uh, setup to before? This guy is fishing. I can't click on the ducks. I can click on... Oh, I can move a frog, though. I'm like, I want you, frog. Give me a frog. Oh, I've scared all the ducks out. So now... Oh, this little girl is like, hey... Hey, I want to feed the ducks. Here, duckies. Here's some bread for you. Bread for ducks. So she's just going to keep grabbing different stuff and throwing it to the ducks. And the ducks are like, we don't care. Okay, so she's going to keep throwing stuff. Do I, like, decide which duck gets which thing? Am I matching up their coloration? So, like, she threw the dark thing. Does that mean I bring a dark duck? Or if, like, she brings an apple, do I bring up the apple duck? And if she's got, like, the really white breadcrumbs, does that mean I light it up with the really white duck? No, those go... Oh, those go closer to this duck. Okay, so part of it is knowing where the thing's gonna go. So, like, that goes to this duck. Okay, so there's a hint that's beyond just the colors. Okay, I think this is going to be the mallard. There we go. And then, okay, then this is Darkwing Duck over here. There you go, Darkwing. And then finally, we've got the spotty snowflakey duck. Yeah, eat it all. They're all happy! Yay! So they're all going to leave, and that means this guy can catch a fish? Or is he, he just failed to catch a fish? Hey. Oh, now he can, now he can fish where the ducks were. That's where all the fish are going to be. Yeah. Come on. Come on, get that fish. It's a boot! Oh. 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 Is it something? Is that a hat for Milo? He's sad now. Oh wait! Oh, some kind of, some kind of crawdad. Ah, my face! Ah! Oh no! <laughs> I am a wet cat. <laughs> what? What? Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, this is bad. Hey, hey, dog! Help me, dog! What? There's a freaking. Click on my little make him some faster. Oh, okay. Ah! Freaking alligator! <laughs> It's a... Ah, no! No! <laughs> ah, no! Get away! Get away, alligator! No! Get out! No! Stop it! <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> Eat that! <laughs> Little girl likes it, too. <laughs> Goodbye, cat. Hello, cat. <laughs> oh, you poor little cat. So wet. So scared. <laughs> oh, and now she got out the uh, buzzsaw to cut the cat in half. Um, oh, maybe that's a hair dryer. Maybe, yeah, that's probably a hair dryer. Um, all right. Oh. What was that? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I am so dry now and fluffy. I'm just so fluffy. All right, jump it. Yeah. All right, I'm in the next yard. Here we go. But I will leave chapter six, boogie time, uh, for you to discover on your own. Uh, thank you, Coalition, for uh, getting me to check this game out. I just I don't want to go through the entire game because I don't want to remove people's motivations to check the game out themselves. But if you like this kind of like sort of like God problem solving adventure game, uh, then yeah, this game it's it's got some really cute stuff. It looks like a lot of these puzzles. You know, they're clever puzzles, but they're also just kind of excuses to watch a cat do cute things, um, which is sometimes all you need, really. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Uh, so if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, there's a subscribe button for you. And I'll put links to other, I don't know, cool puzzle games over there on the left so you can check those out. And I will see you later. I've still got some time to stream. So if you're watching me live, though, we'll do something else.